Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial from WP Globe. As you might know, old and bad quality links, as well as old and not updated content, can highly affect your website SEO, leading to the loss of site traffic and, of course, conversions. So, in this case, the WP301 redirects plugin can be a great help. Due to it, you can easily solve some SEO issues such as redirecting the users to the pages they want to see instead of irritating them with, for example, 404 pages or pages that do not even exist. So let us examine the plugin's best features. So now we are on the plugin's uh, official website and uh, to explain, uh, this plugin helps us to control uh, the links and pages. For example, the users enter one page and we redirect them to the page we want. This is actually a good trick to boost uh, traffic on pages we want to promote and surely is great for website SEO. So on the first page, uh, you may notice the plugin's best features. For example, if there is a default 404 page on our website, then we can easily redirect the users to the page we want by utilizing the appropriate settings. And uh, this refers to not only 404 pages. The same can be done in the case that the users enter different other pages. We can redirect uh, them uh, to the page we want as well as uh, we can track the user's activity and particularly what time they entered a certain page and where they uh, were redirected. So now let's uh, go to the plugin's dashboard to learn its features more thoroughly. The plugin is located in the settings submenu. That means when we install and activate it, the plugin appears here. So I have prepared the test page before. So when entering this page, the users will be redirected to the mentioned page. Let's see the action on our test website. And when we click uh, to, the, to, to enter this page, we will be redirected to the page we have set in the plugins dashboard redirect to section. So moving forward, let's discuss another example. Besides the mentioned page, we can add one more link as well. For, uh, for instance, uh, here is a Google page. Uh, so after entering the link in the redirect from section, we should insert a link into the redirect to section too. And uh, click on the add rule button. That is to select from where the users should be redirected to the page we want. In other words, we will redirect all the users who click the Google link to a selected page. After that, we need to go to the website and refresh it. And if we click on the Google button, we will be redirected to uh, google.com. And surely if we press the button uh, WP301, then we will be transferred to the page we have mentioned before. Moving forward, we can notice uh, the redirect log tab. Here we can one by one track the time when the users entered the particular page and to what page they were redirected. Besides, you can spot country, device, browser, traffic type as well. Next, we can notice where the users were redirected by entering the 404 page. Here are some great settings and options we can utilize to control the processes. Then you can find the support section to read the plugin documentation more thoroughly as well as there is a good and speed customer support via live chat for additional questions. And after all, let's enter the link and then examine the redirect log. So we enter the W301 page and let's refresh the page to see the new results. As you may notice, here are the appear details such as date and time, URL, from where we have been redirected and been sent to, as well as the refer, our location and IP and user agent. 
As you see, the process is even easier than you might think. And all this thanks to this great plugin, WP301 Redirect. Hope you enjoyed our tutorial. If yes, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notifications on. More valuable content is coming soon.